As with every other Adobe program, in Flash you can set up and customize your workspace based on your preferences or the task at hand. First, let's get familiar with the Flash interface. When you're looking at the Flash interface, there are a couple of areas you need to be aware of. This main part right here is the stage, and this is the place where you're going to animate or create your artwork. Outside of the stage is what we call a pasteboard, and this is kind of an important place. This is where you put objects off of the stage that you want to animate into the stage. Then we have our timeline area, and this is another major component of the Flash interface. This is where we can see the animation and create the tweens and add our artwork and keep it organized in layers. Then we have our panels, which every other Adobe program has the same feature that if you go to the Windows menu, you can open up different panels that are hidden right now, and a check mark tells you that this is actually showing. The two panels that you should have open all the time are Properties and Library. Otherwise, you can do this collapsed view and work from one panel at a time using this method. Then we have our toolbar area to the right. This is different than what we've seen with Photoshop and Illustrator. Now whatever your preference is or however big your screen is, you can set up a customized workspace that works for you. When we go up to the window menu, you can scroll down to workspace and here are several workspaces that are based on different tasks that Adobe has created for you. Right now we are in the Essentials workspace. If for instance I come in here and I pull a panel out and I put it on the right and maybe I go to this info panel, pull it out and close it and just in general kind of mess up this Essentials workspace, what I can do is go up to Window, Workspace and do Reset Essentials. A handier way of doing this is to go up to the Workspace button in the top or in the upper right hand corner. From here we can see all those preset workspaces, but I kind of like my workspace even more customized than what we have here. I like to have both of my columns open because I have a fairly big computer monitor, and then I like to change this to fit in window so that no matter how big or small my window gets, my project will fit. And then I usually go up to Window and choose Actions, and instead of having it as a floating panel, I like to move it to the left hand side of my screen. This gives me lots of space to work on the different areas that I usually use. I don't have to do that each time though. I can come up to the Workspace button and choose New Workspace, give it a name, and click OK. So that way if I ever on a different workspace or I mess up that workspace, I can come back up here and now you can see my custom workspace at the top.